This is Rachel Cassandra with Kazomba Community, here to give you an interview tonight with... Kimandumi. And we are here in Atlanta at a fabulous Cuban restaurant getting ready to do a Kazomba workshop, but we thought we'd take a few minutes to let you get to know King. you get started dancing? Well, I started dancing when I was five years old, you know, this is, the Zomba dance is part of my culture, you know, uh, we come down, go, we can bond, you know, that's, you know, that's part of the culture, you know, uh, but as a home, in the street, with family members, cousins, aunties, uncle, you know, everybody, you know. Yes. That's amazing. Okay, so you're from Angola originally, you yeah. grew up dancing Kizomba. I grew up dancing Kizomba, I'm original from Luanda, Angola, you know, we, we, we helped and we was pushing Kizomba, you know, around the country, you know. We still have a lot of people in Angola that don't know how to dance Kizomba, but we encourage, you know, we used to go in the street and, and make sure training, teach every single one, because this is our culture. And you've lived quite a few places and taught Kizomba along the way. What are some of the places that you've taught Kizomba? Well, some of the places, you know, when I left at home back in the 90s, you know, I went to Portugal, you know, we used to go in the club, uh, uh, one of the club called Ife, my, my favorite one was Candando, you know, and we had also Kudisanga. We teach a lot of people, you know, it was just about the passion. We, we were just excited for the dance that we created at home and we want to share with everybody. I spent some good time in Portugal, I left Portugal, I went to Germany, you know, I was able to teach a couple of people in Germany, left in Germany, went to Hawaii, you know, and continued to teach, and today I'm over here in Atlanta, you know, Atlanta, Georgia. Wow, that is quite a journey. So, with all of that travel, how would you describe your Kizomba style? My Kizomba style is original from Angola, you know, we use this style that when we dance, you know, matter of fact, back in the 90, we created another dance we call a dance of the bangown. You know, you got to turn your body to a certain way, you know, just to make the dance look really good, you know. My style is very simple, you know. Uh, I use a lot of technique, legs, you know, leg foot work, you know, but it's also is very smooth, very smooth and very sensual. Great. So you're teaching classes here in Atlanta. Um, what do you do to prepare for your classes? How do you decide what you're going to teach? Well, the way I decide, the way I, you know, uh, I prepare my class, you know, every single day, you know, I dance at home. I have at least two days. Um, between Monday to, to Sunday, I take two days and I dance by myself. And then I go to my book and I write it down the techniques, you know, for the for the ones they will a little bit advanced, you know, I teach them a different technique, but the ones the beginners, you know, uh, I always teach them very smooth and slowly and I practice before I come in here and I practice by myself, you know, and I write it down all stuff in my book and then when I come in here I'm ready to go. All right, that's a great method. Um, what have you been doing here in Atlanta to promote Kizomba and kind of get the word out? Well, you know, I always encourage you. We got a few instructors over here, you know. Uh, I encourage everybody and I, myself also to go out. We have a special event sometimes, like once a year, twice a year. Last year we had the Brazil Festival. Uh, we went outside, we, we had a tent, and we rent a, uh, a dance floor, and we put them in a in the middle of the, the festival, the Brazilian festival, and we brought like four or five dancers and we had like two or three guys and we started doing demo everybody. I mean, that was beautiful, you know, we had a lot of people came by every day and practice. Matter of fact, I had a chance to dance with a lady from Germany, she was 73 years old. Wow. And she came by every day and practice Kizom with us, you know. And I wow. encourage everybody to do the same thing, take the opportunity when you have a, 
uh, event, you can find out from your city what kind of event, if the city is going to have an event, it will not cost you a lot of money. Rent the dance floor, rent the tent, 10 by 10, and put in the dance floor, bring two or three girls, good dance, and start promoting the street, and everybody's going to fall in love. I like that. Taking advantage of existing cultural events in the city to promote Kizomba. Great. So, one final question. What does it mean for you, King, to be part of the growing Kizomba community here in the United States? Well, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. I'm proud you, you know, you brought this platform over here for us because uh, you actually helping us pulling the name of Kizomba around the corners of the state, the United States. You know, that's very important, you know. A lot of people, we had good, great dancers over here, but when they started Horba, we have a Kizomba community, they started get a little bit more involved and also I mean with this platform here I mean there's no way you're gonna stay at home if you know Kizomba if you heard by Kizomba and we have somebody ready bring a Kizomba to you say hey come on be part of this platform you know it's exciting I'm very excited great well thank you so much for doing the interview and uh, if you want to find out more about King we're gonna have some information coming up on the next slide as well as in the information below the video and remember that if you'd like to get more information about Kizomba all over the United States check out www.kizombacommunity.com thanks guys